Hey guys, today we'll show you our uh, first uh, look at our uh, new product, which is, we call Economy Oracle. So the reason why we have a Economy Oracle is because uh, for the later, for the future lending protocols that we're going to introduce, we need a very flexible way to onboard new tokens uh, at, at the at will. So in this case, whatever the in a way, whatever the customer wants, we want to uh, be able to get the price and uh, and hopefully the users can start to trade the, those tokens. So in this way, we need our Oracle to be very flexible. So that's why we have this product. So currently, you are looking at the uh, the, the the price fee. So currently, we only have two BTC and Kono. So pretty ask why 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 they're so little. So for example, the dominant one, why we don't have uh, DOT or, or maybe uh, Kusama KSM. So the reason why is, uh, I'll show you later, you will become very clear. So uh, first of all, how to use this product is basically we need to connect to wallet. So for now, we just only have MetaMask. So currently you see we I have MetaMask enabled. And uh, yeah, then back to our question, uh, how do we onboard a new currency? Or, or for example, if a user wants to subscribe to our existing currency or current currency how, how 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 can they subscribe to it so first of all you can toggle to our make subscription you can choose the currencies that we have here so for example uh, btc or, uh, or kono so just select any one of these and then select the aggregation strategy so basically that means uh, how do we aggregate the the data from different sources so for now we have simple average basically we just add, add them up and, and divide it by the count or we can have t warm so this is still in, in development and soon we'll have have it on our testnet but in the future we'll introduce more algorithm that that's custom made to our lending protocols and here we have a list period basically how long you want to subscribe to so uh, for now i think we can subscribe to uh, around uh, this number basically it, this is our contract basically it's around a, a week or so so we can click subscribe and then we'll be able to subscribe a new price fee but i think we should answer the question what if we have a new currency that that's not for example registering the system yet so currently you see in our host system there's only two so for example uh, i want to subscribe a uh, dot so in this case we can toggle to manual input currency so we can just key in dot and then key in the name or the slot poke poke dot and then click next and we can select the different data sources so you can see uh, these are the two that we have integrated and then these are the coming ones that we don't have an image yet to indicate that we are still working on it so for this demo i'm just going to use coin gecko so and then similarly we can choose the aggregation strategy so for now i'll uh, we'll keep it simple we use simple average and then the list period basically we use a fixed number uh, so this is roughly around like one or two weeks so for demo purposes just this is just fine so i'll click subscribe and then which will bring me to the metamask so currently we you see here this is robston but our ultimate target is is moonbeam which is already our contract is already deployed on moonbeam but uh, the, the testing is still in progress so uh, we are reaching out to their uh, developers and we're solving some uh, problem that we, we we encounter but anyway uh we'll, we'll proceed to robston but anyway it's the same okay once we click su uh, click subscribe and then we'll just wait for the transaction to uh to pass so let's just wait so later oh you see here okay here the dot is already here so that means uh, we had a we made a new subscription and uh and uh, the, the the basically in our address on our address we have our we have dot subscribe so you can see currently we have this basic info uh basic information about our subscription and here we can see this is the contract so basically it's just telling us uh what's the client so because we are running on Moonbeam in the, and uh, of course we are using a contract, but, but sooner or later, we are also rolling out our, uh, our Polkadot palette. So in that case, when user uh, can just install our palette and then you can, we can we'll automatically push the price over. But here we're just publishing, publish the price to the, to the contract. So uh, then that means for this case, we need the address of the contract. So currently, I think in, it's still deployment in process. So the idea is once we make a subscription, the contract will automatically be shown here. So the users can just come in and use the contract. 
by reading it off on, online. So later we'll, we'll see. Okay, but we'll just wait. Okay, now you see uh, with a click, that means it, it's, a, it's a refresh anyway. So we have the contract already. Uh, later we'll see uh, how we can get the price from there. So now we have the, the contract and uh, let's go to Etherscan or, or, or Moonbeam, uh, doesn't matter. We, we, Okay, let's go there. Sign in Robstone and paste in the contract address. And basically, there is there it is. So this is the contract we have deployed. And uh, okay, and uh, probably we cannot see because we we haven't verified. But anyway, as a user, you can just import this uh, our interface uh, and then you can read off uh, from this contract as soon we'll publish uh, around maybe every 10 minutes or depends on how much the percent percentage change you can also choose to publish to one every one minute uh, or, or yeah also depending on how frequent you want it to be but uh, of course that would be much more costly okay anyway we are still uh, just waiting for a while to wait for the price to come and uh, this usually will take an initial price push. I take uh, like two, two minutes or so. Let's just wait a bit. Okay, after some time, we'll see uh, the price of DOT and BDC and Kono. We are all, all fetched. So you see, this is how, in a way, how we update the, the, the price. So currently, you see that the Logan is not there because it's a, it's a price that it's a, it's a currency that uh, the backend, our system, uh, cannot recognize for now so in a way we need a we need to another process to trigger another to onboard new currency through our govern uh, governance uh, protocol okay so basically this is a very high level through of our host system so you can see uh, this is uh, basically we provide a way for users to onboard their own currencies and then people can we are open to uh, basically uh, different ways to to submit the prices to our users so in the future we'll provide a more automated uh like for example governance protocol as i mentioned before so that we can fully automate let the community or or drive this project together so uh we are we soon will be releasing this website currently we're still actively developing it so uh so in the future hopefully we can see you guys uh, very soon and let you guys try this website and uh, submit your feedbacks